Okay. Why are we all here, you ask? We want to launch two new shows from the brand you know and love, Ironclad. Ironclad Originals is bringing you two new shows. And that's and it's Borderlands with Vincent Vargas. I'll tell you right now, Vincent Vargas called me yesterday. He said, bro, I'm in. I just want my legal to sign off and then I'm, I'm, all, I'm all your guys. I can't wait. You know, so that's happening. Studio bills, guest negotiations, products, trailers, all of these things are gonna be going into this. So that means that December and January is a lot of planning, a lot of prep, a lot of creative. Mm -hmm. They need to get ready for the February drop. So we are putting together the new rack for Borderland, which is our next Ironclad original. So this is a rack that's gonna handle all of the inputs for the audio and video, bring them all together, connect them to a Zoom call for conferencing with the guests for the show, as well as technical support, and then remote login for grabbing files for the show. Industry secrets. I'm just kidding. You know how Apple has like those, or like, or, or whatever the freeze frames is on these? Yeah. It's like this slow moving drone where you don't know what, is it moving or is it, I, I can't tell. But it was that with like the Borderlands logo behind him. That anyway, way we don't need a sign, we don't need anything. We just put one of those on a side. When are you guys talking all that stuff? Art kit. Art kit, art kit and creative direction for a studio. Between tomorrow and Friday. All right, I'll be, I'll be on it. This is the image that was in the one sheeter. And this one I kind of like. It's kind of got like a photographic kind of painterly kind of style to it. This is the same one, but with sort of like an inverted thermal palette. For the studio, um, you know, it's a tiny corner of his office. You've seen the room, Jeremy? I've seen it live in a meeting with him. I've asked for room dimensions, pictures of the ceiling, everything that you guys told me yesterday. And a few were about to head out to the print shop to check out some new samples for some upcoming projects. Definitely wanted to go with like a light hand print. You can just pass that with black so we can cut down. Cause that's the only one I asked for to be tonal. No, I like that versus going with white that would look like it wasn't purposeful. Especially on this one. Yeah, you can actually see the Heather through that. Still pick up some of the tone. Yeah, that's good. We are about to head down to favorite state of Texas to build the Borderlands studio with Vincent Vargas. Um, just using Cine Tracer to build out some renders for the look. It's really designed to help me understand how the lighting is going to work. So that's the main tool I use within Cine Tracer is the ray tracing ability of the lighting. It just helps streamline the whole process. We are on our way to uh, Vincent Vargas's house where we are going to set up his podcast studio for Borderland. Borderland will be shot on the Sony a7 IV with a 24 to 70 Sony lens. They're working on some Borderland specific merch now. Super easy. Like it. Love it. Sweet. The guest will be displayed on the screen and then Paul pretty much does everything else besides hitting the record button. Interesting. All right, we're packing up. We are done here for Borderland. We got everything set up in the studio. So we're going to turn everything off and head to the airport. Vince's portrait looks great. Yeah, it looks sick. Did you see he was on uh, yeah. campaigns with the ironclad sweatshirt? Did you hear him talking about it? Well, I don't know if you're making any money podcasting, but you could. You're great. <laughs> you, you, you are great at it. We have ironclad. We have a podcast coming out called Borderland, and we're going to be really discussing in detail some of the perspectives of the border. We can follow that directly with a press release. Yeah. Because that's going out today. Yeah. Um, do you have those pulled up? We'll just make sure they look good web-wise like for email. Yeah, so this original one with this large block style, the white over black on the second one, she's gonna say new Ironclad original podcast. So she's gonna change that header up to match this here. Very cool. It's becoming real. I'm gonna be buttoning into the table, so shift the table too. Yeah, yeah. Just bump the table over a little bit as well. 
yeah, that's, that's way better. Overall, it looks great. Cool. Right. Good job, guys. Great work. Cool. Thanks. Working on Borderland intro, outro, and transitions. So just uh, the very start of the podcast and just want to figure out how it'll flow into the actual uh, setup and interview. Taking kind of elements, what was done with the with the trailer and figuring out a kind of simple intro. Something that could, you know, still sounds cool, can grasp uh, an audience, but yeah, just the, the good times are rolling over here. All right, <laughs> I think we're, we're rolling here. Vince, I'll let you uh, take away. Sheriff Cleveland, thank you for joining us. Sorry for the, the, the last minute change of Thank you. For hey, no, I'm easy, I'm easy. Is, is the camera right. squared up okay? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good, good. Sheriff. All right. So yeah, we just kicked off the recording of the first episode of Borderland. Our first guest, Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland. As you can see, we got it. We got rolling here from Vince's brand new studio. Not gonna lie, had a little, uh, some technical stuff we had to work through coming down to the wire, some schedule stuff, but uh, we're rolling. I'm excited for people to see the show. That's what we do, make it happen. We cut through the partisan talking points. We're not interested in perpetuating fear. We're interested in seeking truth, hearing what's really going on on America's borderland.